What's up guys, my name is Dominic and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review is on the Pretty Care Vacuum. So I have the box right here in front of me. Um, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the box, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna get an idea of everything that comes inside of it, we're gonna assemble it, and then we're gonna do a demonstration with it. So you guys have an idea of what to expect, what's gonna be coming inside of it, and everything like that. So stay tuned for the next clip and let's see what the box looks like and let's open this bad boy up. All right guys, so what I have now is the box in front of us. And I just wanna give you guys an idea of everything on the sides here. So um, obviously, let me show you real quick. It's, it does say it's Pretty Care. Um, we do have the uh, model is the P3. It's power type 200 watts, rated voltage about 100 to 240. And the size of the box. And then obviously the side's gonna say the same exact thing. And I guess this is like authentication code, stuff like that. What we're gonna do is we're going to open this up and get a better idea of what to be expecting inside. So I already opened it up and let's get this open. All right, so upon opening it, we do have the, I'm gonna push this box a little bit back so we get a better idea with the camera. This is possibly the bottom of it. So yeah, that is the bottom of the actual vacuum cleaners part. It's nicely tucked away. I do like how they do tuck away everything. We got that. Next up, we do have the battery here. So upon taking that out, this is the whole entire battery portion. I do believe that this is a digital part up here, so it should uh, light up too, which is great as well. We also have a nice charger, it's great too, obviously. Some little different brushless attachments. I think this is possibly the whole entire stem or the neck part. Yep, so this is the whole entire neck part portion of it. So that's great as well. Nice little tube action, you know, has a little slit on the bottom here. Let me see if I can take this out so you guys got a better idea. So that's nice as well. And then what we have here. I'm not really too sure what this is. I think if I'm correct, this might be, um, what helps hook it onto the wall. But we will take a look at the manual, get a better idea of what this is supposed to be. And then upon here is the whole entire motor itself. Everything's nicely taped up, you know, tucked away. Don't mind me, um, I'm still going to be obviously putting it together. Uh, this seems to be a filter portion of it, which is great as well. And then we do have a manual. So obviously that Pretty Care gives you a, a Pretty Care kind of uh, website, either Facebook, or Instagram. So they have many ways to actually be um, contacted, which is great too. And then they have their whole entire guide here. So guys, give me a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take a look into this, uh, learn a little bit about it, and then we're going to obviously put it together and give you guys a better idea of how it actually demonstrates. So stay tuned for the demonstration portion. All right, guys, we're back. So I took all the parts, as you can see, out and about here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start clicking everything in together. Um, just give you guys an idea of what goes where, how does it go in, um, all that fun stuff. But uh, I did get uh, a couple moments to read the uh, actual manual and get a better perspective of everything about this device. So one cool thing um, I did mention before, I really guessed at it and I was right. This is meant to mount on your wall. This is meant to hang up the actual vacuum cleaner itself when it's all assembled. Um, so you do have options here. You do have a sticky pad if you need to use or if you wanna use screws. I know some people are different. Um, if you own a household, a lot of times you could just screw it in. If you have uh, somewhere you're renting, you really can't, don't, uh, well, you really aren't supposed to be uh, screwing into the walls. You really should be using the sticky pad. So you have both options, which is great. So some things I wanna go over about the machine itself is, uh, you know, it does have a max su suction at 28 kPa. Um, just to give you guys an idea, that is the average um, suction on the market. It's a little bit stronger um, than most vacuum cleaners, so that's great too. 
Um, there is two modes to this actual device. There is a uh, strong mode and an average mode. Um, so this is the battery right here. Um, so this battery should give you about um, 20 minutes in the strong mode uh, and then 45 minutes at average. So um, I don't know how large your household is. I mean, I have a normal household and to be quite honest, 45 minutes is more than enough. Um, I'm glad it has a strong suction mode, which is great too. 20 minutes is also long enough. I mean, most of the time I only will need that uh, strong mode for uh, my carpet. There's a lot of uh, dust or ash or soil I got really stuck into a portion. Um, I'm sure that will uh, help me out really well. Some other great things about it, obviously it is a brushless motor. That's what most of them are on the market today. Um, they're most of the time really, really quiet actually. Um, they have been upgraded, I guess that this device was up, well, this device was upgraded to a four layer filtration system. Um, it's superior to the old fashioned hemp one. So that's also great to have that too, because that's less pollution and it cleans the air as well as the motors like shooting out the air. Um, so it does have a stainless steel filter and the filter is pretty much a cotton washable substance. Um, I should show you that real quick. Um, so let's see how this works. So don't mind me. Um, like I said, still really new to it, but as far as I remember, you click this button, you turn this and don't mind my uh, neighbor outside. He's kind of cleaning outside, but uh, this is the filter itself. And as it says, it's washable. So easy peasy with that really. Um, you can obviously open the bottom here. And when you open it up, you can actually, I'm sure you could take this, ah, it pops out the other way. So um, you just take that out and you could clean that out as well. So that's great too. And we'll put that back together in a moment. Um, some other things I wanna go over, obviously, um, it has more than enough accessories. So it's retractable tube as we all went over. It has a wireless support. Um, multi scenes uh it pretty much cleans like you know sofa floor curtains car so you have all different devices and attachments to clean wherever you really need to um it's pretty easy i think for an adult or a child to be quite honest um i really couldn't see anyone really having a hard difficult time it's pretty easy um, when we go over this it's pretty much easy tappings uh, nothing really crazy to it i mean if i could see somebody having hard time putting all the different attachments on. Maybe you should be more of an adult, but a child could also use this pretty easily. Um, and as I said before, also, this is a touch screen. So there's no real buttons to that. It's really just tapping and everything like that. Um, on the screen itself, it will say in the center uh, what percentage of battery life it's at. So that's great too. Um, there is an LED spotlight, as you can see in the bottom here. So it does have LEDs, so that will uh, show you, you know, where exactly can you uh clean to i mean it'll give you some good light on uh like looking at everything and all that fun stuff um i'm pretty sure this opens up too i've been trying to figure that out i'm not really 100 percent sure on how you can actually open this device portion ah there we go see i've been trying to figure this out so you can unlock here and i'm sure yeah this whole entire brush thing comes out so that's great that they have that actually. And let's see if we can get this just right back in. Don't mind me, it is my first time putting it all back together. There we go, so it clicks right back in. So that's great too. That's easy access and everything as well. So glad we have that. Um, so it can turn you know, to the left and right, it has its neck really bendable. It can go in different ways, up and down. Well, maybe not back, so you can't go back this way, but you can obviously bend it this way. You can go to the sides and stuff like that if you need to. Um, that's great as well. Um, so I think we pretty much went over everything, which is great. Um, maybe the only thing is that the uh, dustbin is about 1.2 liters. Um, so that's great to have that as well. More than enough storage for dust and stuff like that. Um, but let's go over how to actually assemble the whole entire device. So um, we're going to move this out of the way. What we're going to do is we're going to put the duster back on. So let's place this back in here. Let me open this back up. Pull this back in here properly. Make that nice and tight. There we go. All right. So what you do is you follow these little notches right back on in there. And then you click that in. So once you hear that click, that means it's definitely in there. That's great too. 
All right, so next up, what we should be doing is putting the neck on here. So this is the neck. And as you can see, there is a button. As we'll show you too here, you can extend this. This isn't just like this size. Basically you can go pretty high out there. So this is definitely gonna become a tall device. Um, so once you hear that click, it'll lock in there. If you want to disconnect it, you just click that button down and pull away from it. But it's now locked in there. Let's push this away so we can get a better idea. And then you have this device part, and then you put that on there and then it'll lock in. So that's great that you have that as well. Um, I'm pretty sure also, so that's the sliding part. Let me just take this off again. Pretty sure also you can. There we go. So you can lock the smaller pieces on there too. So if you want it to be shorter and use that as well, um, I'm pretty sure you can use this as well too. Let's see how that works out. And click that in. Yep, clicks in there perfectly. Um, and then I think with this part, you can actually, maybe you can't. So let's see. Pretty sure this extends. It seems like it extends. I don't think so. Maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. Um, it seems like there is a button here that you can click and you can make it move a little bit, but I don't, ah, so it does. Ah, cause it's new, it's probably, you know, sitting in there a little bit weird. So you can extend this out if you wanted to. I'm sure you just click that and it'll go back down. Um, so you have some uh, red belt down here and then you have the bristles up here, which is great too. It's awesome we got that. But what we're going to do is next is put the battery on in here. And let's see which way we gotta put this in. Pretty sure it's where the lock is. So right here. So here's the locking part and it locks right in. Okay, so to turn it on, I'm pretty sure it's just this button right here. So here's the button. So it does, okay. So um, you will feel, feel the external air coming out of here. And let's get a good idea. So when we turn that on, it says 50%. Um, obviously two plus and uh, minus buttons. So if we go plus, you hear it going a lot louder. That's super strong mode. And if we bring it back down, it just goes to average mode. It doesn't go anymore of that because only has two different settings. So that's great too. So that was really great. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click everything together and we're going to see how it actually, actually works on um, cleaning up dirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just, you know, do some random cleaning around my house and see how much it actually collects. So stay tuned for that next. All right, guys, I just wanted to update the video real quick. I did make a mistake. I just want to correct it. Um, so this is, as we said, the hanging part for the device. Um, this actually does not have a sticky pad. I thought this was possibly a sticky pad. Um, this is just a felt pad to uh put to your wall and um what it basically does is it doesn't like allow uh it to like leave a mark on your wall or um really scratch into the paint um it's just really some padding and then you're supposed to screw it in and then it's uh nice and uh sealed to the wall um so uh just to give you guys an idea this is only a screw in part um so sorry about that all right, guys, we're back. So what we have now is the vacuum itself. Um, so don't mind my whole cluster here. I'm actually in the midst of cleaning everything. Um, so I thought, you know, right now would be a good time to actually start cleaning the carpet a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to extend it a little bit and we're getting a good idea of how this actually works um, cleaning. So what I'll do is I will put on the uh, average mode um, and we'll just see how much it really picks up and see uh, how this goes. So stay tuned for a second and let's get this going.
Vegas. I just want to show you real quick. It was at 50. Um, during that whole entire time, it went down to 45%. Um, and next up, let's just show you on the camera. So it's not like I'm really faking anything or, you know, here we go. I'll take that off. And as you can see, it collected a lot. Um, there is a lot of dust in there. I'm actually kind of disgusted by how dirty my carpet is. Um, I didn't even think there was that much dust and hair and pieces of, I, I don't even know what is in there. Um, so we're going to open it up and, uh, see how much it really collected on a plate. So stay tuned for that next. All right, guys, we're back. So what we're going to do is we're going to carefully open this and I don't want to get dust out everywhere. Um, so let's see if we can uh, open it up without getting, oh, no, no, don't want that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually remove the battery because I don't need it turning on midway and throwing dust everywhere. That would be very bad. So we're gonna turn that. Cut that out, okay. All right, so. And just turn the camera up a tiny bit so you get a better idea. And then I'm pretty sure you just turn this knob down. Just trying to, well, you know, let's go this way. All right. That's not really what I want to do, but we could do it that way too. So as you can see, there's a lot of dust going on in there. And, uh, ew. Yeah, there is a lot of dust. That is what it picked up in, I, I don't even know, I wanna say one to two minutes. So, you know, and that was average. You know, I'm afraid to even know what the hell I'm gonna pick up on the super strong mode. But uh, pretty much this is the, uh, the, this is what you're gonna get. Um, so I can't say the vacuum doesn't work. Definitely works really well. Cleaned up really well too. So guys, uh, I hope this video gave you an idea, um, a perspective uh, in the box, out of the box, assembly, uh, even the demonstration of what you should be expecting from this unit. Um, in my case, I think it works really well. But um, again, I hope this video helped and have a great day, everyone.